Hey everybody, I promised to do a new video talking about my new signature bass uh, built by Pete Schold in Ohio. Wonderful builder. A lot of you might have already seen it on uh, Twitter, Facebook, and the like. Um, so I thought I'd just uh, show you a little bit about everything that it does and why, why I like it so much and what we work to achieve. Um, so there's a... Uh, hopefully the lighting is okay. As you can see, it's a beautiful just a beautiful instrument. Um, the neck is Murado. It's got a, actually the fingerboard is Murado. The neck is maple with purple heart. Um, body is a beautiful piece of African mahogany. And this is the specs for all of the actual signature bases to be built. On the top is an amazing piece of both burled and spalted maple, which was actually plucked out of a river here in Oregon, I believe. And you'll see a couple of things you may notice. This pickup for one, one large pickup mold. Um, I'm a ramp player. I usually have a strip of wood in between my pickups that acts as a ramp so I can play and have even playing surface on my right hand so my right hand is always comfortable. And we developed the idea to, um, instead of having three separate, you know, pickup, wood, pickup, just do one oversized mold. There's actually two pickups in here. Um, both of them are overwound a bit to give a bit of a darker tone. One of my things with six string basses is that I've had a hard time finding a six string bass that sounded both great in the bass range, nice low thick bass, but also um, projected well without becoming glassy on top. And that was one thing we worked hard to achieve. <coughs> the controls, and I can show you, we have treble which uh, you pull it and it's passive, push it in the act, kicks the preamp into gear. Pickup blend between the two pickups inside. Then just your standard bass, middle, and treble. But what is cool about this, a um, guy named David East in the UK made the preamp. And I don't know if you can see it, but we have an amazing amount of control inside the cavity. It's essentially parametric EQs. You can adjust the frequency of the mids right here frequency of the treble knob and frequency of the bass knob as well as overall gain of the preamp. So you can actually tell the preamp which frequencies you want to be adjusting with those knobs. So it's, it's an amazingly flexible um, bass tonally. Um, I figured I'd show you a little bit about the bass. I'm just going to play it flat. I actually start passive so you can hear just the sound. So you can hear it's got a very open, wide open sound. When I kick the preamp into gear, I still have it set flat. And it's just a little bit of girth. It's still a little bright. I, I tend to roll down my treble knob to, to take the edge off of the notes. Um, but the thing that I love that we were able to achieve is the fact that even when I turn my treble all the way off That's the treble all the way off and it still projects. You can still hear those high notes And I prefer... I'm going to turn that up just a little bit I prefer to introduce a little bit of bass and also this mid frequency, which you can, you can tell is pretty dramatic. I've kind of dialed in that kind of gets boxy if you if you push it too hard, but I find if you bump it up just a little bit, it gives you that kind of. Actually, let me turn this. Sorry for the. Uh, low budget recording set up here. We'll turn this camera down so you can actually see the bass. And you see it's got a lot of presence. Tons of low end rumble and girth and if you really want to boost that bass I mean you can really push the amp and get that kind of dub dub sound if that's what you're looking for. And now even with my 
treble all the way off. Still have nice clear resonance, the harmonics are still coming through. And again, I could adjust that frequency so I could make it take the edge off even more. Um, or add a little bit of edge for slap, you know, if I wanted to slap. I don't really slap, so. absolutely thrilled with the tone. Another thing we worked hard to achieve was this extra deep cutaway there. Uh, hopefully you can see that my camera angle is kind of weird, I can't tell, but it makes for completely unhindered access up in the top range, which is something I've always struggled with. also a 26 fret instrument so you've got the extra range there. Now I don't go that high that often but it is nice to just be able to get up there if you want to even for laying your own tracks if you want you know you just lay a little quarter tr chordal track to play to. allows you to do anything you may want to do um, with the bass. And so I can tell you I'm absolutely thrilled with this instrument. Signature series or no, I'm just absolutely loving this bass. are nice and round all the way across from the bottom all the way to the top. Now that I play that I know somebody's going to ask me about what I'm doing so I'll turn the camera down just a little bit more so you can see my hands. <laughs> I'm going to go up and hammer, finger plug, finger plug, almost like a lot of a Victor Wooten type of thing, but finger stuff. Just moving it around with some chords. be the most uh, articulate and I'm not not exactly a gearhead so I'm not the greatest at explaining everything that it has and everything that it does but I can tell you that I'm just absolutely loving the sound of this live and it's so easy to play and uh, this this double pickup ramp idea is just working out phenomenally it's uh, it's just a real joy to play so that's it I hope that answers some of your questions feel free to leave me more if you have more and um, 